Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video because sometimes it's easier to watch a video than it is to read a long story and update you on what's going on with my neck. Basically about a month ago now I was in a water skiing accident and I just fell wrong and my neck snapped back in the water and I remember being in the water and just praying and thanking the Lord that I could still move my arms like that's how bad it hurt. Uh, but anyway, in the emergency room we found out that I have a fractured neck, I have a sprained neck, and I have a hematoma back here uh, behind my left ear, which is just a big bruise, kind of creates swelling in the head. And before they discharged me, one, one thing that they found incidentally, which means it's not related to the accident, uh, and it was kind of, they found it by accident basically, was an aneurysm in the front anterior left artery of my brain. Obviously, that's very overwhelming. That's, uh, it's heavy for, for us. Now, we've had some time to process it, and there's, there's been some of you who I've talked with, and you've seen, obviously, the brace and signed it, obviously. Um, I figured it looks so ridiculous, we might as well just go ahead and go full out middle school and sign this thing. But anyways, um, what this has done is it has brought up a lot of questions, you know, like you have questions like, man, what's my life insurance like? And those kind of things. But then also the big, the deep questions like, God, why are you allowing this? Or um, what's your purpose in this? Like, where, where do you want me to, to be in this? And so I just wanted to challenge everyone and just kind of share what God's been, what God's been teaching me through this. See, I know that I can trust God. Little, I'm just going to give you a few snippets of what God's been teaching me. I know that I can trust God. I know that he's sovereign. I know this in my head. But is it something that has transferred from head knowledge to heart knowledge? Is it something that I actually live out every day? It's timely that a friend of mine and I have started going through this book, Trusting God, together by Jerry Bridges. I can't recommend it enough. It's such a good book. One of the things he talks about in here is God's providence and how a lot of times we refer to God's providence to basically explain anything good in our lives. Like, oh, in God's providence, I got this raise or in God's providence, he worked this out. Um, but when we, we don't really use oh, God's providence in orchestrating even the negative events in our lives, right? So for me, obviously in God's providence, he orchestrated this nasty accident and it hurt. And, and even now, like the discomfort when I sleep and, and the lack of sleep and the crankiness, my poor family, but God's orchestrated all that to find something very serious that, you know, people, people who die from aneurysms are people who don't know they have them. And now I know I have one. So now we can kind of put together a game plan and, uh, so clearly in God's grace and his goodness, he allowed this to happen so that we could find something more serious. And so maybe you're going through something in your life. Maybe you have some professor or teacher who's like out to get you. They, they're unfair in, in their expectations or in their grading. Maybe you have, you have a parent who, who's abusive. Maybe you have a, a marriage right now that's just in shambles and, and you, you don't know what's going on or you lost a brother or a sister or a, a daughter or a son or you lost a parent and and it's just it brings us to this place that of pain where, where we're starting to we know we can trust God but we're struggling to actually trust him and so I don't think there's anything wrong with that honest prayer of that of that father who came to Jesus and said he his child needed healing and Jesus said well if you believe and he said Lord I believe would you help my unbelief? And, and that's so real. That's so beautiful. Like I've even prayed that concerning this, like, Lord, I believe you can heal me. Would you help my unbelief in this area where it's hard? It's hard to trust. It's hard to trust. And, and I think that's okay. But here's what scripture says in God's pro about God's providence. Two things we know for sure. Isaiah 42, eight, God uses his personal name and he says, I am Yahweh. That is my name, and I will not give my glory to another. So God is interested in his glory. He's not going to give that away. So in God's providence, one thing he's always doing is working things out for his glory. The other, because he loves us so much, is that 
all things work together for the good of those who love him. We read that in Romans 8. So we know that everything that God carries out, according to Isaiah 42, are for his glory, and Romans 8 are for our good. And so if we truly, if we are believers who believe that the Bible is inerrant, that it's authoritative, that we can trust what it says, it's God's word, then we know that no matter what the circumstances, regardless of whether or not we can understand them, and even though it hurts that God is in control and that he is going to use this for our good and for his glory. And so I think that's the best answer I can give as far as where I'm at with this whole deal right now is I'm, I'm, I'm at peace. I'm sure on next Friday, here's a prayer piece for you. October 6th, uh, I go in for an angiogram where they go through an artery in my leg area up into my brain and take pictures and videos to get a better idea of how to tackle this thing. And that's gonna be nerve wracking. That's gonna be an all day thing. Brandy, of course, will be nervous wreck. And so that's an area where you guys can be praying for us. But I know I really do have a peace. And I believe that only comes from the Lord and, and how I can trust that he's gonna work this out for his glory and for my good. So I just wanna challenge us all to, to live in that place, no matter what the area is that we can't comprehend that we would live in the fact that God will work everything for his glory, our good, and we can trust him.